Okay. Hi team, uh, Mao here, and as I promised uh, last time we were we were on the court, I said that I was gonna make a short video talking about um, core geometry and core positioning. Um, two concepts, two concepts that tennis players uh, need to have in consideration when you know when on the court so uh, here we have a, a small well here we have a like a, a board a tennis court a board some tennis players here that I made so it's a little bit easier to to visualize and let's get this guy here hitting a forehand. Let's get this guy here hitting a forehand. They're right in the middle. Good. We have okay targets there. We have our ball. And let's do it. All right, cool. So first thing, guys. I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody is um a exciting and looking forward to play tomorrow in the tournament. Um, great opportunity. Good challenge for everybody. It's gonna be a fun experience, it's beautiful, and I know you guys are gonna have fun and do well, do good. So, now, let's talk about core geometry. First thing, we're gonna talk about the net and how tall it is in the middle. Remember, the net is three feet. Uh, let me see. There you go. Uh, I was having with uh, I'm having problems with the drawing tools. That's why I'm, I had to come up with this to use it. I had to find out what's going on. Anyways, right now uh, in the middle of the net we have three feet, three feet tall, right on the sides. Remember, guys, it's higher. That's why we have to be careful when you hit those down the line shots. Try uh, you know get some good clearance. Because we're adding six inches, so we have three feet and six inches on the sides of the net. Okay. Uh, then we have the length of the cord. How long it, it's a cord, right? It's important to know how long it's the field or the, the space that we have to play. Mm, this is 78 feet. This is 78 feet, 78 feet long, there you go, sorry about that, 8, 70 feet long, oh, 78, sorry, feet long, how wide our singles tennis court is, okay, so here we need to cover 27, 27 feet. 27 feet. Well, that's a... Sorry about that. Anyways, 27 feet on the single court. On the double court, we are going to add 4 feet and 5 inches or each on each side. Is it? Well, uh, it's... Uh, yes, 36 feet. So, we have 36 feet here. Boom, on the double court. Great. So now that we have this, we can see why hitting cross-court shots is a high percentage shot, right? First, the net is lower in the middle. So those are six inches that we don't have to think about. Plus... The diagonal is going to be longer than the this straight line here, right? So, we hit diagonal, we're going to have more than 78 feet to hit on, on the tennis court. And I think it's about like 10%. 10%, uh, let's see, this is going to be 10%. 10% longer than if we hit down the line. 
Okay, so remember, those are the reasons why he cross court, he cross court, he cross court. You have the chance, you have a good chance, you have a short ball, go down the line. Okay, go down the line if you have a short ball. But if you're at the baseline, hey, let's, let's be consistent, let's try to go for high percentage shots. Down the line from here, it's kind of a low percentage shot. Well, it also depends, you know, the positioning of the, the your opponent and all the stuff. But in most of the cases, this is the this is the rule, right? All right. So we got cover core geometry now. Hmm. We're gonna talk about core positioning. I'm not gonna take too long. I know everybody. You guys are busy people, and probably are getting ready your bags and are ready getting ready. Uh, for tomorrow have a good dinner tonight so you guys have energy for tomorrow so you can process this um, you know this food tonight and um, don't eat big meals before playing because remember that digestion uses a lot of energy so you know have a good breakfast tomorrow morning hopefully you have a healthy good breakfast and you know take with you some protein bars and fruit lots of water please stay hydrated remember to have a towel and extra pair of socks uh, over grips okay anything else sun uh sun uh how oh, do you call that uh well that thing that you guys use for the sun some blocker or some screen. Uh, yes. Now, core positioning, guys. Let's go quickly talk about this. Core positioning. Our goal when we are talking about core positioning is to place ourselves in between the maximum angle angles that our opponent can create. So if we are hitting from this position, you know, our opponent basically can hit this type of shots all right he can hit why you know we can say that he can also hit this type of shot but it's very unlikely that he will if he's a smart player why because we don't want to aim to the lines it's a very low percentage it's a low percentage type of game or strategy we don't want to be aiming to the lines, okay? Choose big targets. This, this type of targets. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. This type of targets. No. Avoid them. No hitting to the lines, okay? I don't know what I did there, but you get the message, hopefully. So, these are the maximum angles that he, this person can create, right? Let's do it like here, uh, here. We have our targets here. We have our targets here. Let's say that our opponent is a smart player and he's hitting these type of shots. Oh my god, look at those lines. Alright, there you go. Now, right here, you're in the middle. You can cover this one, right? You can cover this one. You can cover there. You can cover there. Good stuff. Same for your opponent, right? The same uh, principle applies for him. Right now, he is positioned in the best place he can be if you hit your maximum angles here. He is in a position where he could get to this ball easy and will get uh, to this ball easy. Right. Okay, so that's that. Let's get these guys again on their forehand positions here. Boom. There you go. So if they're here, if you're here, right? Those are the positions. Now, pay attention to this. This guy is on the baseline. Okay, let's talk about this. This guy is on the baseline, right? Baseline. Baseline. So are things that we need to start paying attention to. Okay, what's going on on the other side of the court? During practice, you're taking care of your stroke production, how to hit a volley, how to hit a forehand, backhand, 
all these things during practice. Match, match time. We need to focus on all our aspects of the game. We have to see what's going on on the other side of the court. Look what's going, what's going on on the other side of the court. We have to start looking at where is my opponent uh, position. Is he has has he has he uh, good um, footwork? Uh, is his forehand or backhand his weakness or his strength? Things like that. Okay, we can expand on this and we will. But right now we're talking about core positioning. So we're in this place here, and if during warm up, right, you're warming up, boom, this distance. It's like an ultra ball, both few, you know, no struggle, no, no struggle, hitting this type of ball back and forth, boom, boom, you guys are good, comfortable. All right, so this, we can say that this distance here is going to be your neutral shot or neutral distance, right? Good, good distance, you don't feel hurry, you don't feel bad, it's good. Now, if you hit a deep shot, and push your opponent back. He has to move back to be able to be able to to return this ball. Now look what happens. The dynamics change because we have to this distance represented here by this line. It's gonna change. So now it's gonna move a little bit like this. It's gonna look like this. I'm gonna draw it here on the side. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it here. Here on the side. Why it's going to change because for you to be able to keep the same distance here, now you need to move forward, right? You need, you need to move to this point. Hopefully, if he hits the short ball, you're going to commit, right? And go down the line. Remember, down the line, guys, remember, we are choosing... Big targets. This is a good target. This is an okay target. Okay? Look at all the space that you have here. And it's a tough shot, though, for your opponent to actually get to. Right? If you have him hitting from here, then he has to recover all the way. You hit a, you know, decent shot. Uh, he hits a um, short ball here. You hit down the line here. Hey. No aiming to the lines. This is forbidden. Okay? Aiming to the lines is not a good strategy. Choose big targets. Big targets. All right? Great. That's core positioning. Talking in this direction. Vertical, right? On the y-axis. What's happening on the x-axis? What's happening horizontally? All right. Similar. Now. We're talking about covering the maximum angles that your opponent can create, right? If your opponent, if you're hitting here, say that you're on this side. We're just hitting forehands to forehand. These two players are right. Forehand to forehand. Guys, one of the things, please, first thing you're going to notice <coughs> tomorrow when you're warming up, I ask you to please see. If your opponent is a righty or a lefty, sometimes there are people that finishes a match and they didn't even notice that his opponent was a lefty. So just you know to be aware of those things, it's important when you're playing. That means that you are just not in your head thinking about you and your strokes, but you are actually thinking about what's going on on the court. Good. So in this case. If this person, let's see what type of angles this person can create from here. Okay, this person can hit this shot here. Because remember, this is a, a smart player, so he's not aiming to the... Oh, let's do it a little bit closer. He actually can, can go a little bit more, a little bit wider. I think it's a decent amount of space here. Good. So he can create this shot, and he can also create more shot as... As you move to the sides, remember that the type of angles that you can create are bigger, you know? When you're in the middle, it's harder 
to create this type of things. Whereas you move, you can start creating this type of things. So that's when you have to start thinking, okay, well, you know, maybe at this level, I don't know. You see this thing happen too. So just be aware of that. So now my player, if he's here, this is a good position. Okay, you can call it this and you can call it that. Imagine if you stay in the middle. Uh oh, maybe you can cover this shot. Oh, uh, sorry, this shot easy, but then you're gonna be in trouble if you stay in the middle. You're gonna be in trouble if you have to cover any of these shots. If he hits here, if he hits there, or if he hits there, now you're too far to really cover that if you're here. But if you position yourself well, which be around here, now you can cover. This shot's easy, because basically you are in the middle of the maximum angles that this, your opponent can create. Same applies for your opponent, you know, from this perspective. You know, if you're here, now you can create a, this type of shots, right? And then it opens a little bit more on your side from here, right? So you can now be more like this. There you go. Remember... No lines, no aiming to the lines, just big targets. Great. Guys, if this guy moves here, same thing, just move a little bit here so you can. The down the line shot, remember that it's a low percentage shot, so this is always going to be a low percentage shot. We have to think about it, but if these people is, is smart, they're gonna go for the cross score. Unless it's a short ball, and if this player is smart, he's gonna probably go down the line, right? Down the line, and now you, you, you have to do something here, right? You hit here, guys at the net, if he's smart, he keeps going, go over his head, love the guy. He goes back, if he's in a bad position, always pay attention where your opponent is. If he's back there, don't stay here, guys. Get some space, you know. You're right now in the offensive position, in an offensive position. So, really, take advantage of those things and have fun on the court. That's it. Uh, we, we, we can keep talking about these things. Uh, there's uh, some many things that we can talk about, so many dimensions. I know Coach Corky wants to talk about uh, the zones of the court and all the stuff. Um... This could be a great way to do it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching this video, for taking the time to do that. Have fun tomorrow. If you can bring back the trophy, do it. If not, remember, it's all feedback. So there is no failure. There is no failing. It's feedback. And we're going to use that feedback to get better. Great learning experience for everybody. For you guys, for us. Thank you for the opportunity to working with you. It was fun to, to be there on the court with you guys. You're great. Have fun tomorrow, okay? I'll see you next time. See you around. Bye. Good night.